My name is Laron Roberts. Uh, I'm a solid waste driver for the uh, city of Largo. My role is I'm a, uh, what they call a claw truck driver. So we drive around picking up bulk items. So anything that doesn't fit in your trash can, we're the ones that pick it up. Uh, refrigerators, cabinets, dressers, couches. Uh, I got diagnosed in 2019 uh, by my doctor uh, running a uh, regular lab test. And uh, he saw that my kidney functions were off. And then you know how they do, they ordered more tests and more tests. And then eventually they determined that I had a, a genetic disease and that my kidneys were starting to fail. And so yeah, uh, in 2023, uh, they, they called me up one day, said we got lab work, uh, doesn't look too good, come to the hospital. And that's when they, uh, they put me on dialysis. I had to have surgery that the day they called me to the hospital and they admitted me, uh, they had to put a port in my stomach. And uh, what it is is that every night I hook up to this machine and then in the morning, the theory is that it got all the toxins out of you. It, they don't make it easy getting on the, the transplant list. I've been trying for almost two years now. I, am, I finally, last month, got on the list. And that means that now I'm uh, able to receive a kidney. I go through Tampa General, uh, and uh, they have a, you go to their website, the Liver Donor Program, and it, what it is is that you can call them, and if you want to be a donor, they'll send you out to a, a blood kit. You take that kit to uh, either Quest or LabCorp, they'll test it and let you know if you're a match. So uh, having a kidney would help me live a better life, so I can do more things with my kids so I don't have to do nine hours a night of dialysis. Because, you know, I work 10 hours a day. I get off at five, get home about 5.30, and then at eight o'clock I have to hook my machine up. So that only really gives me, what, two, two and a half hours of time to rest before I have to be on that machine all night long. So, I mean, it, it, it's very challenging. Some days, you know, I, I, you know it, it's a struggle, but, you know, life happens and, you know, I'll get through it and hopefully when I get my kidney transplant, I'll have a better life. What gives me hope? Uh, to know that, uh, because when I go to my doctor, I'm, I'm in the waiting room with other people with kidney disease and I see that they have lived long lives, long happy lives, and sometimes you talk to them because Sometimes you're waiting there, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes to see the doctor. And then, you know, they tell you their stories and how they had kidney disease and they got a kidney transplant. And now they're doing well and they're living happy lives and that this is only a temporary setback in your life that it doesn't have to define you. It doesn't mean that this is over. Because when I first got diagnosed, you know, you know how you go in that, I'm gonna die kind of <laughs> mindset. But then you realize and you start talking to people that, no, this is not the end. Yeah, what gives me hope is knowing that there's other people out there with the same disease that have lived long, happy lives.